Hi guys. The iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro were really well received when they first came out, with many reviewers praising the cameras, battery life, and the lower price on the base model 11. Before that, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thank you. Apple's overall build quality is still among the best in the industry. This year, I like that Apple has used that top of the line glass front and back on the iPhone 11 as well as the iPhone 11 Pro because last time the iPhone XR didn't get quite as good as the iPhone XS on the back. Both the LCD display on the iPhone 11 and OLED display on the iPhone 11 Pro remain terrific. I personally prefer the OLED because I'm a sucker for HDR video, and Apple's display team has just done such a terrific job on extending the dynamic range while still mitigating color shift and burn in. Problems that have plagued a lot of other OLED phones over the years. I still miss good, proper 3D touch. I get that removing it saved some cost and some space and let Apple not only fill up on battery but provide consistency between long press and force press, and across devices like the iPhone and iPad. Both the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro have Apple's latest, top-of-the-line 12MP wide-angle as the main camera. And, pretty much everyone agrees it's one of the best still cameras on a phone and arguably still the best video camera period. The A13 Bionic system on the chip that Apple packaged into both iPhones 11 is still just massively overpowered. The A12Z in the latest iPad Pro makes many a PC and Mac grind self to sleep mode and this is still next level to that. Apple has also pushed out a ton of software updates for the iPhone. We're at iOS 13.4 already when some years don't go much past point two, And, frankly, it was necessary. I asked all of you on Twitter what you thought about the iPhone 11, 6 months later, and a ton of you responded with pretty much exactly what I went over here, great camera, great battery, and for the baseline model, great price. So, I'll just remind you again, that while the tech universe is obsessed with year over year upgrades, unless you're on an annual plan, most people just don't think that way. Most people keep a phone. Thanks for watching.